See you in a minute. Now, we've got all the stuff done on the walls and hopefully that's all pretty much in the right place. The only thing I can't do in the garage on that is the, wall, the workbench uh, and that will have to wait until the floor is done. So that's the next job on the list and unfortunately it isn't just a matter of getting the floor tiles down because there are one or two problems out there that I need to deal with first. So we'll go out and have a look at that. Oh, right, I've got a patch that the builders originally obviously either forgot to put the gas in properly or they had to dig it out to connect the pipe or mend the pipe or something I don't know what but there's this patch which is in places quite high and it's not all over so I'm just trying to establish where it's high and what I want to do is mark, I've lifted up either side onto the normal garage floor slab the thickness of the plywood and I'm just running it underneath and as soon as it starts to become to be a problem that'll give me an idea of, of where the spots are that need taking out So it's not all over, in fact it's slightly low in some places, but there are areas that are too exact but I didn't want to end up putting five or six millimetres of levelling screen over the whole floor just because there were a couple of areas that were slightly low and could be taken out. I'm going to just use the um, SD drill with a chisel in it. So I'll just take the surface off that and then we'll see how we get on. Right, so that's got the level down pretty much to where I want it to be. It's not perfect, but it's plenty good enough for this. Um, it does leave me with a couple of low spots and holes, which I don't want to just put the filling compound in. So I'm just going to get some epoxy mortar and put in there. I'm not going to spend a lot more time on it. Apart from any else it'll probably uh, completely do my one hand that needs carpal tunnel doing in so we'll uh, give it a rest I think clean it up wet it down and put the epoxy mortar in just going to fill up round the gas pipe because there's a, a void all the way down there and I don't want to find we've got a problem in the future if they ever have to get the pipe out for any reason or anything or 
even if they come to swap the meter and they see it and it's full they're probably likely to have a bit of a hissy fit so I'm just going to wrap it in a bit of pipe insulation to fill the main hole and then a bit of tape around it to stop the liquid getting down and into it right that's that wet the floor down there so that it doesn't just suck all the moisture out. Clean it up. Move on from there. So here we are for the first time since 1979. The floor is totally unoccupied. Ever since we've had the house there's been something in here even when I was doing the extension. You can see the original builders didn't do a fat lot of good with laying the concrete or at least the kids came in at night and left all their little welly prints in it. So that's not been very good all the way around what was obviously a hole they didn't do a very good job filling the hole in they didn't do a particularly good job in laying the concrete but there you go and then of course I came along in the late 80s early 90s and dug dug it all up to put the soil stack in so I've probably not done a particularly brilliant job either on making it good there so what I'm going to do now is just wet it down, get it damp so it just doesn't suck all the moisture out and then we'll get some of the levelling screed down. It reckons 4 metres per bag, 4 square metres a bag. This floor is about 7 I think, so 2 bags should be enough but of course we all know that these things are pretty much usually uh, underestimated I think as far as the manufacturers go we shouldn't need a lot of screed on most of the floor it doesn't need more than something just to make it look cosmetically right um, but we'll see when we get it done if I have to go out and get another one so be it uh, 
Yeah, and the other thing that's not particularly uh, makes it not particularly important is that the whole thing is going to get covered up anyway with uh, PVC floor tiling on top, which we'll see in a future video. I'm lucky that I put a demarcation strip in years ago in a strip of hardwood across there, so we've got something to stop the screed levelling going any further at that point and then we can move on and deal with that floor as a future phase Right, rule number one, read the instructions first. It does say apply to a clean, dry floor, so just letting this dry off. It won't take long, it's a hot day, so it won't be long. We're just going to mix it up. It's 4.4 litres or 4.2 litres to choice to a bag of levelling compound, so we're going to mix that up. take or press the button right on the first one so we've missed the first lot it's going down okay once it should have been done with a paddle mixer like I mentioned really there's still lumps in it they trowel out and they're laying it but much to my surprise looks like it's about the right amount So there we are, that's finished the levelling stuff. It's not as quite as good as I'd hoped. I'm not as happy with the screw fix levelling compound as I have been with MAPE and stuff I've used in the past. It tends to leave a lot of trowel marks in, although it's fair to say it's pretty hot today. It was going off almost as fast as you put it down. So that probably didn't help. But it's got it level. I can sort any little uh, ridges and knobs out with the grinding block because it will still be soft in the morning it's pretty much dry now and um, we'll start and get some of the stuff back inside we've got tiles arriving next Thursday and hopefully we can get uh, a finished floor down then and we can really start motoring getting the bench in and uh, finish it all off so that's got the preparation done I've got floor tiles arriving this week so hopefully in the next sort of time you go out and have a look at what's going on in the garage we'll be getting the floor down and that's almost the end of the job then um, there's still benches to fix and things like that but we're pretty much there with the workspace I want for getting Hetty back on the road so it's another step forward hope it was of interest look forward to seeing you next week when we'll try and be doing something different see you then bye Thank you.